Hillary Clinton is back to familiar stomping grounds, once again campaigning behind closed doors. Meantime, voices are growing louder over her silence on the big issues. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry is in Iowa tonight with the concern over Clinton's campaign strategy. Hillary Clinton arrived in Iowa for her second official visit to unveil a four-point small business plan aimed at shoring up her outreach to the middle class. The deck is still stacked in favor of those at the top. We know that. And so we have to be especially focused on how we're going to bring about the changes. A sharp contrast to the fact that she and former President Bill Clinton raked in $25 million for delivering a total of 104 speeches in 2014, as she spent another day on the campaign trail not answering questions from the media. It's just not just the campaign of, of not answering the questions of the American public. Uh, it's not answering the questions about their own personal uh, uh, situation with the Clinton Foundation and, and uh, and the involvement of, uh, of foreign governments, uh, obviously the, is the issue of the, of the mail servers, these are all very important issues. Benghazi, these are issues that the American public has a right to understand, and, and she, has, she has to come clean with it, and she hasn't. Republican Rick Santorum won the Iowa caucuses in 2012 with the help of a pickup truck that highlighted the accessibility of his shoestring campaign. With Santorum expected to announce another run next week, today he held a town hall meeting here here in Mason City, open to voters and reporters, while in the very same city, Clinton, who finished third in Iowa back in 2008, held only one official event today in a private home with limited media access, a strategy that even President Obama's longtime advisor, David Axelrod, believes may backfire. She has to do it quickly, and she has to start getting into the rhythm of a campaign where there's uh, where she's out there, she's she's can't, she's she's answering questions, she's making speeches, she's, yeah. and she's not. You know, it would be a terrible mistake to, uh, to to not do that. Her only official rival in the nomination fight, Democratic Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders, is also pressing her to finally take a position on the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal. You can't be on the fence on this one. You either for it. Oh, you're against it. No, no fence sitting on this one. Now, the president and owner of the historic Park Inn Hotel here in Iowa gave us exclusive access to his home because it's across the street from where Secretary Clinton just left. We were trying to get questions to her. Uh, interesting, she had a wall of Secret Service vehicles uh, lead her in so we couldn't get close. Uh, and then she pulled in right into that garage back there uh, so that we couldn't even get close to her, let alone shout questions. Gives you an idea of how hard they're trying to keep us away, Brett. Ed Henry on the stakeout in Mason City, Iowa. Ed, thank you.